let me just say, and I wouldn't be here otherwise, I'm a believer, uh, what the market is judging the future of our industry as being is wrong. In fact, it's more than wrong. Uh, it's complete nonsense. Complete nonsense. Our industry, our companies, jointly, severally, are in great shape. We have come through an incredible period of change. We've created more resilient business models based around the core competency of what we do, which is journalism. And we've translated that across a range of mediums, print, uh, online, smartphone, tablets. Don't you love those tablets? Well, we do. <laughs> I mean, 210,000 downloads of the Age and the Sydney Morning Herald already. That's a third of all the iPads in this country. You correlate. You keep a third you keep downloading at a third the rate of the growth of iPads and they're set to double by the end of the year. We have to really start selling our story a bit better here and start getting off this endless, endless, agonising argument about circulation fall and start talking about the real world. And what's the real world? The real world is that we are engaging readers in a better way more substantive way and in higher numbers than we've ever done before. I just pulled some numbers. Now the halcyon days under the mastheads that we have, and this is across this industry, we're growing. More people are coming to us. More, not less. So let's start actually making an argument that actually tells the real story and not a micro argument which is just a part of the story. And also the best thing that, you know, in the Australian context and certainly in New Zealand, we work in deeply competitive markets here. I might always say to Fairfax, the best thing we've got going for us is News Limited. The best thing we have going with, for us is News Limited. Why is that? Because this is world's best practice competition. If, you can't, if you're competing with news, You've got to be on your toes. And we compete effectively. And that is why, in our industry, we reacted decisively to the new world. We have to create a new proposition. Free to Air have created a new proposition, which was we've got new digital channels, and the buyers and the media buyers embraced it. Outdoor, a new proposition. It was out of favour, out of fashion, new sales proposition. The new sales proposition for us is all about horizontal media work online. We will capture, capture you on the move, iPad and iPhone. We will capture you at home, IPTV. It's a compelling proposition. It's a compelling proposition. But that's what we do. So it's not about the future of newspapers, it's not about transitioning a newspaper market from here to there, because each of those mediums will capture a slightly different market. A bit older in print, younger online, maybe younger again in mobile, but will capture. It's a powerful proposition. We've just got to get the costs out and we spend the money where it matters. And we've made changes in Fairfax, and we don't apologise for it. And we'll make more changes, and we won't apologise for it, because we're going to invest in the journalism and in the sales. And the way we produce has to be efficient and really smart and really good. And we need a culture that takes advantage of the opportunities, not goes into endless debate about the future, that we have a future. So let's develop the culture to make the future live.